before starting this video properly, I have a request to make. The game we're playing is a Generation 2 ROM hack, but it is a very, very good one at that. And even if you're not a big fan of Generation 2 or if you're not a big fan of the old style Pokemon graphics, please just give this game a chance. Uh, give me a chance to, you know, I, I, I just, I'm just, I'm being precautionate. I know that older games don't perform as well on YouTube. So if you want to see more of this game, then let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know liking the video and stuff. Sh show support for the series is all I'm going to say. Because uh, obviously if it doesn't perform the best, then there's no point in me putting hours into making a video. It, you know, it's just how it is, unfortunately. Um, something that's crazy. All right, let's just, let's just get into this. So I'm going to try and grab your attention right away. This is a, an amazing ROM hack. Uh, a link to the Discord where you can download this will be in the description. Uh, it's in beta, as you can see. Let's go ahead and click New Game here. First thing we're greeted with is to select a region. We can start in Kanto, or we can start in Johto. Now, here's where I'm. Here's where I'm. I'm, I'm like really, you know. Uh, basically, okay. Basically, this ROM hack is open world. You can travel any way you want. You don't have. You don't have to do first gym, second gym, third gym, or you can do any order you want. And I'm pretty sure the levels kind of match. I could be. 100, I, I've not explored this game in great detail. I just know that it's open world in the terms of you can go whatever you want. Like, uh, I did a little test earlier and I started in Johto and you can just immediately walk to Kanto. It's crazy. It's a crazy game. So I'm, I'm a bit stuck because a lot of the ROM hacks I've been covering have been Kanto ROM hacks. So, you know, as cool it would be to start in Kanto in a crystal ROM hack, I think we're going to start in Johto. Mainly just because I've already covered Kanto so many times, and then Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee is going to come out soon. There's just so much Kanto, so let, let's go Let's go with Johto. Let's start in Johto. Um, select a gender. Uh, this won't limit your character selection. Gender is used for text purposes, as well as the style of the item pack. So, we're going to go male. Um, but we get to customize our character. Obviously it's limited, but you get to choose which character you play as here, which is super, super cool. Uh, you guys play as a rival. You can play as this guy, play as this girl, uh, and then you can choose the color that they are, which again is dope. Like I, I, I'm, I'm very like pleased with just. It's such a simple thing to do, but I'm really pleased with it. So, um, I don't know who I should play as. You know what? I've got long hair. Uh, let's let's go with a silver silver. <laughs> Why not? Now, what did you say your name was? So then you get to fibif doom robert neff all right let's go ahead and choose a name you already know what time it is and then select your starter you just immediately get to select a starter pokemon like which you know it's basically getting like the tutorial stuff out of the way it's super cool uh there's so many choices as you can see right now eevee slowpoke seal growlith houndour ponyta uh voltorb a porygon a vulpix pichu for some reason even though pikachu is an option basically all the babies tyrogue smoochum elekid magby uh, Smeargle, Ditto, Unknown, Magikarp, Shuckle. Those are those are your options for starters. It's a it's a fair it's a fairly big chunk of of options. I'm not actually sure what I want my starter to be. Um, I'm I'm, I'm still I'm really like whenever I did my little test, I chose Porygon, but obviously you can only get up to Porygon two. But then this is a really well made. You know what? Yeah, let's go Porygon. Let's go Porygon. I really I think Porygon is my favorite out of these. I want Porygon as my starter. And uh, something that's awesome is you can actually shiny hunt for this. Just use the starter ball. Wow, that's actually really cool. I like this a lot. I like this game a lot. Um, visually, of course, like I said, it might not be the most appealing, but select the default item pack color. Oh, so yeah, we got to choose our item pack. Uh, I guess we'll just, uh, let's, let's just leave it red. Why not? Would you like a little bit about this ROM hack before you begin? It is a lot of text. Yes, we want to know all the smoke. Oh, that's probably not really appropriate. Hey there guys, it's your old pal, Shock Slayer, and today I'm going to tell you about Crystal Clear. There's a lot that could be covered, but I'm going to stick to the basic stuff here. 1. The world has been opened up. There are less restrictions on traveling and uh, navigating areas within the game. Uh, 2. The game scales with badges. This means that as you progress, trainers will be stronger and more things will be available. Gyms can also be rechallenged on any unlocked level by talking to the Pokeball statue. Uh, please note that certain trainers relating to the story events will not scale, such as Sages and Sprout Tower. All right, cool. New features. I highly recommend reading the documentation provided for this uh, 
but a good start is the options and music menus. You'll notice that after you get your starter, you'll be asked to save. Combined with the new quick continue feature, this will allow you to reset for a shiny much faster. Gift Pokemon like starters have increased odds. However, all other encounters are still one out of 8,192. I wonder how much the odds are increased by. I kind of want a shiny hunt. Certain events like um, uh, ro uh, roaming Pokemon will now show the overworld sprite as shiny and will play the sound. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, all 251 Pokemon are available to catch or obtain in some way. The Pokedex's areas function reflects this. This ROM hack is still compatible with uh, the original games. This includes Pokemon Stadium 2, which has been tricked to believe you're already caught 150 Pokemon, so you can easily transfer without limitations. A lot of things are renew uh, renewable. This includes roaming Pokemon. Any uh, stationary encounters and gift Pokemon, most of these are reset by beating the Elite Four. There is also stuff like TM Mart, where every TM is available after a certain amount of badges is earned. That's pretty cool. You can have a Pokemon follow you around in the overworld. Just press select on the Pokemon party screen to choose a partner. As you walk with them, they will grow to like you more. Damn, there's so much went into this. This is crazy. I don't know how I've not played this already. That's all I've got. Enjoy the game. I don't know how I've not played this already. That's crazy, man. Um, So save the game for soft resetting. Uh, let's give it if the, if the odds are increased. I'm hoping they've been increased by a lot. So let's give it. Let's give it a go. Let's let's, let's see what we got. Nah, he's not shiny. And Porygon can follow us. Yo, this is so cool. How have I not played this game? This is so cool, man. Oh my god, so much time went into this. You got you guys have to play this game. You guys seriously have to play this game. Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. Okay. So there's a music option here. All right. I know we've not really started the game yet, but oh my god, you can choose. The wild, you can choose any music. Look, okay, so this is Jota Wild. And then we can change it to Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald Wild. Or we can change it to Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. We can play Sun and Moon. Go. This is crazy. This is, this is insane. They didn't have to do all that. So if we get bored of like the, you know, let's, if we get bored of certain music, let's go Ruby Sapphire Emerald. Why not? Uh, we can just we can just mix it up. That's so cool. Honestly, God bless. Tech speed, obviously, we can put it on fast. Battle animations are on. Ask the switch. Uh, always run off. Frame type one. We can change our frame. They've put, they've put in some pretty cool frames here. Encounters fancy. Encounters fast. So we can make the encounters fast if we want. Oh my God. Nurse normal. Nurse quick. Continue quick. Continue normal. Oh, we can change the color of our ge- Oh my god. Guys, I'm- I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I didn't know about all this. Oh my god, we actually got a shiny Porygon! Oh my god. I was just soft resetting there. So the odds are most certainly increased. And it was really fast. Oh my god, we actually got a shiny Porygon. That's insane. Okay. So our starter Pokemon's a shiny Porygon. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh my god. I was just going to do it for a few minutes and then give up. All right, I'm going to save. I'm going to show you how fast that soft reset was. So we're going to save here. All right. I'm playing on an emulator, so I'm going to press Control R. That's to reset. And we're back in the game. It's... That's crazy. We got a shiny... Oh my god. That's so cool. Oh my god. I'm so excited for this. All right. Make it follow us. And it is it is shiny on the overworld. It is shiny on the overworld. Oh my god. I love shiny Porygon. This is so awesome. Oh, this is so awesome. And then I guess we just get to go wherever we want. Uh, let's come in here. Hello, Elm. Uh, hello, my name is Professor Elm. I'm a Pokemon researcher in Newbark. What's your name? Chef, nice to meet you. How many badges do you have? Hmm, I see. If you had at least one badge, I could give you something important. All right, cool. Well, I guess this is an open world Pokemon game for the most part. So I guess we'll just do some exploring. I don't really want to go the generic route, you know. I want. I kind of want to. Kind of want to. Let's go Kanto. Like I said, we can go Kanto. Um, and the, apparently the trainers do scale. Um, so hey, uh, you live over in New Bark, right? Uh, I can see that your house. You can see your house from here, but I haven't seen you pass through here before. You already taken your first steps into Kanto. Check your Poke Gear map. Cool. So that guy's there as usual. And yeah, like I said, we, this wasn't here in the original games. You know, usually you have to surf over there. Um, let's actually go talk to our mom. This, I really want to talk to everybody now. What the hell? Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome home. You should rest here for a while. Cool. 
All right, so this is our this is our Pokemon. Okay, there. You and your Pokemon are looking good. Keep at it. Obviously, we can't surf here, uh, but the game isn't limited, so we can go wherever. I don't think the wild encounters should be too high. Uh, you are level what? 14. Oh my Jesus Christ! I swear to see anybody come here. Are you training on your own? All right. So this is our first trainer battle ever. So I I I, I have already been over. I, like I said, I tested this out myself, and they are. The levels of the trainers do scale down. So she's level 3. Uh, so we can beat her. Which is just super impressive. I don't know how this, this all happened. I'm just so happy I got a shiny Porygon, man. That's so cool. So yeah, like I said, if you guys want me to continue doing a playthrough of this, then just let me know. I can make it happen. Um, I just need you guys to actually, like, you know, just... If you have any suggestions as to what I can do... I wouldn't mind doing an, an entire shiny run, you know? Entire, entire shiny run. That'd be pretty cool. And... Since Wild Encounters, you can speed it up. I imagine getting a shiny would be very fast in this game, too. Um, Bulbasaur. Another Bulbasaur. That's fine. We do, we do, do, I do need to nickname my Porygon. I do need to nickname my Porygon. <laughs> That's something that, uh, you know, with soft resetting, I didn't actually get the chance to do. Okay, so the Wild Pokemon do seem to be about the same as what they typically are. Which sucks a little bit, but then it's like, you know, like, what, what do you expect, I guess? The, the, the fact that, you know, they've already done all this much, it's, it's insane. Uh, Cold Trainer Blake wants the battle. The fact that trainers scale down make it like such a doable experience or whatever, such a such a playable game. Uh, so Magnemite might be an issue unless we can get like a burn off of it or something. Yeah, it wasn't actually an issue. My my shiny Porygon is actually just slaying right now. Execute. All right. All right. So let's encounter a Pokemon really quick just so we can see how fast like we get into battles now. It literally just okay. It just jumps us into the battle. I mean, to be honest, I do jump cuts for my series anyway, so. This for, this, for me, saves me so much time, and it's very helpful. So that's that's perfectly acceptable. Um, I was going to say, if you guys... Is, if this isn't really a series you want to see me doing YouTube, I can easily just continue this over on Twitch. Which I've already got a lot of stuff to stream on Twitch as it is. Um, but I, I don't think I want to leave this game not played, you know? I definitely want to play this game. And... Porygon seems to be about to collapse. Oh my god, you can talk to your Pokemon too. Oh man. Oh man, they, they went above and beyond with this game. I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive and I keep just saying that. Um, so the whole reason why we wanted to choose Johto was because we thought that going through Kanto was a bit boring. So we're gonna we're gonna go through Johto, and uh, we're gonna see what we got going on here. Hello, Centret. You literally don't even have to talk to Nurse Joy. Did you see that? Watch this again. You you don't even you don't even have to say a word. I feel kind of bad, but you know it's just it's just it, it, it's just convenience, you know. Oh man. I really hope they made it easy to evolve Porygon into Porygon 2. I'm sure they have. I like how they removed like a bunch of cut trees as well. Like those they, those aren't necessary either. Like, oh man. Oh man, I'm fanboying. I'm fanboying so hard. Honestly, I think this is a game that I want to do shiny hunting on. Like, I, I think I genuinely... Like the fact that apparently it is still... You're still able to, you know, connect this to other Gen 2 games. I don't know, man. It's just awesome. I really want to do actual proper shiny hunting on this. Let's do Spirit Tower now while we're, um, while, while it's actually a challenge for us, I guess. Do you believe in your own strength, young one? Can you overcome the trials of the sages ahead? Sure. And all, uh, he doesn't do that in the original games, does he? I could be completely mistaken. He maybe does it in Crystal. I don't remember, though. Anyways, uh, the thing is, I'm just saying, I might shiny hunt, uh, on stream. And if, if this is legit, like, of all the save, if this save file is like seen as a legal crystal save file then i might just uh i might, I might just oh wait, wait hold on wait hold on wait what wait wait what wait hold on what wait excuse me i thought oh i thought they were gonna be the same level as me well, I'm dying. Okay, well, I guess we can't do Sprout Tower right now then. Well, whatever. All I'm trying to say is, I might, um, if I shiny hunt on this and the save files are, or the Pokemon files are technically legal, I can then just, I can be cheeky, use PK Hex, and I can just transfer these legal shinies I've, I've you know, obtained in this game and just put them on my, my actual cop. I don't know, I think that'd be pretty cool. I'll try it out before I, I actually shiny hunt for something, but I don't know. I think, I think it'd be pretty neat. Anyways, I know that the whole, uh, you know, the whole point of, this crystal is that like oh you can just do it in order of whatever order you want to do it in there's no specific order and that's neat i'm just going to take out this gem just because it's here i think after this we will maybe make our way up to um where morty is uh i do actually have a plan for uh pokemon that i want on my team uh when i had to i don't know if you noticed but the time of day completely changed 
Uh, I had to leave for a bit. So I planned the team as I was gone, and I'm really happy with how the team is. Um, so luckily for us, since this is open world, we can just go catch a lot of the Pokemon we want to catch now. I want a Skarmory on my team, because I've never actually used a Skarmory in a playthrough before. Uh, and I, I, I want, uh, I want, I wouldn't mind a, wouldn't mind a, wouldn't mind a, I wouldn't mind a, I wouldn't mind a fighting type. And the only fighting types there really is, is Heracross, the Hitmons, and Machamp. Uh, I, got, I, I could be wrong, but I think in Gen 1 and 2 there's a very limited amount of fighting types. But I do want a fighting type in my team, but I don't want to use Machamp. So I think I'll use Hitmon Top, because I don't think I've ever used the Hitmon Top in a playthrough. I could maybe use Hitmon Chan, but I don't think Physical Special Split is in this game yet. Because uh, I was reading the document and it was basically saying anything that could potentially make this not compatible with a, with a, a real Gen 2 game, we don't want. So they want this game to be as compatible as possible, I guess. And uh, I, I guess as real and... Man, they've done such a good job on this. I'm so proud of these guys. Whatever, let's go take on our, um, on Falconer, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People, uh, say you can clip the flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to What do you mean? It's just a fact, bro. How are you gonna get upset by facts? You're, you're like the people that say, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee or side games. They're, they're just factually not. They're factually a main game. I don't understand. Whatever, for some reason this gym leader is incredibly underleveled, so this shouldn't be any any challenge for us. Porygon is very, very strong and powerful, and uh, we should hopefully wipe the floor with him. Yeah, we should be fine. Please, Porygon, eat that. Oh, Porygon ate that, man. I don't even need a Porygon 2. Regular Porygon's good enough. Although I do want a Porygon 2. I'm probably going to have to read the documentation of the, 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 the game properly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably do that after this. I think this is a game. This is like Infinite Fusion. This is one of those fan games I'm going to invest a lot of time into. And that's what I love about fan games like this. You know, like, when I, whenever I play a ROM hack, usually I just, I play it till the end and never touch it again. I'm pro I could see myself investing a lot of time into this game just due to the fact it's open world. Ah, oh, and I'm so excited to too because I can just, I can just right now, I can just immediately walk to the name writer. I don't have to go through Bugsy or anything. I can just walk to the name writer right now. And we just got Mudslap, I believe, because I think he just, they, they just make everything the same for the most part. Yeah, cool. That's all good, man. Thank you very much for uh, taking that ass, that ass whooping. Man, I wonder how they actually got the Porygon following you in this game. Like, I wonder, I mean, I imagine it would maybe just, maybe they just took the, I don't know how making ROM hacks works, but maybe they, maybe they just took, I guess, Pikachu following you from Pokemon Yellow. Oh wait, I just realized I'm completely ignoring the Pokemon League. The po I thought it was Professor Oak's aid following me right now about the egg. Uh, expand your selection, any local Pokemon. You can you currently have one badge. Kanto trainers can visit Professor Oak's aids over on Route 10 for a flashy gift. Johto trainers may want to visit the famed Sprout Tower in Violet City. Twitter tips, take a ride on the SS Aqua. Buy a ticket from Vermilion Port or Olivine Port. Thank you. Uh, and have a good day. Cool. Well, I'll probably have to go read back that. I thought that I'm so used to the original game where, like, you got a phone call from Professor Elm and he's like, Oh, get the egg for me. Man, I, I can't believe I just ignored what the Pokemon League were saying. <laughs> and I completely lost what I was saying before. God damn it. Anyways, oh yeah, I was talking about how Pikachu... How, they, they probably... I guess they probably just used uh, Pikachu from Pokemon Yellow following you, but then just made custom sprites for every single Pokemon. Man, this game is so cool. So let's see if trainer levels do indeed. Because usually this guy's like level 15, 16, I think. He's usually got like an Abra or something. Uh, he has Natu. Okay. And it is level 10. Okay. So he is on par with me. Okay. He is on par with me. That's not bad. We can just do the bug catching contest immediately if we wanted to and everything, man. Oh, this is so cool. Here he is. Yeah, I wanted to use... I wanted to use a Hypno on my team because I don't think I've actually ever used a Hypno before and I really want a Psychic type and the only other Psychic types is like Alakazam and Jinx and I can't really think of any others so I don't have much choices. Uh, I've never actually really used a Hypno before. So... Mm, should I catch this or should I Shiny Hunt for one? I really want a Shiny Hunt for one because Shiny Drowsy is really pretty. I'll catch this one just for now and if I can't find one then I'll, I'll keep this one because it's quite high leveled. If he stays in the ball, that is. See, the thing is, if I shiny him for one, I need to be prepared for it. Because if I'm not prepared for it, it's just going to die. And that's not going to be very good. When it twitches its nose, it can tell where someone is uh, sleeping and what that person is dreaming about. That's so creepy, man. That's so creepy. All right, let's make Drowsy follow us. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, <gasps> yo, look at him. He looks so good. He actually looks so good. 
I, I think I called, I think I, I think I spelled vanilla correctly. Oh man, Drowsy, you're so cool. I like you a lot. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Por Porygon follow me though. All right, so I wanna skip some of those trainers because I do wanna go back there later. But here we are in Goldenrod City. We just completely skipped an entire part of the game. We're gonna go back to Bugsy later, I guess. <sighs> I'm not sure if I should bother with Whitney right now. I don't know. I kind of want to take my time with this game, but, you know, I feel bad because I've only I've already done one gym and, you know, I, I do like doing like one gym per episode in these types of ROM hacky videos. Um, but like, it is a very, like, there's no storyline for the most part. It's just go do whatever you want to do, man. And that's super cool. Anyways, I guess we'll go check out the daycare and we'll see what Pokemon there is in the wild here. I can maybe catch a Ditto so I could like breed some eggs or something. I don't know. What's happening, Chief? I'm the daycare, man. Do you know about eggs? I was raising Pokemon with my wife, you see. We were shocked to find an egg. Incredible is that? Well, wouldn't you like this egg? And fine, this is yours keep- oh god damn it. Uh, well that's unfortunate. So... What's in the egg is already determined once you get it, so I guess... What we could have done technically, if I- if I had already saved before I came and got this egg is, we could have... Uh... Kept- kept hatching it... Until we got a shiny. Uh, but we- we have to, like... If I hatch it now, it's gonna keep hatching into the same thing over and over and over again. So that that's kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. I don't really think I want anything from the odd, odd egg on my team anyway, so I'm not too bothered. I can't seem to sell any of my bicycles. Yada yada yada. Give me a bike, I'll advertise for you. It's funny in this game, all you have to do is like ride the bike for like five minutes, and he's like, "Oh my god, you got me so many sales. Thank you." Oh man. Oh wait, what? Why do I like get absorbed? Wait, what? What the hell? What? What am? What the hell? What? I have a bike helmet and everything. Okay, I man. I got. I got. I guess that's kind of cool. I can understand why they did this. I think maybe the, this is replacing just the bicycle sprite, just so they don't have to code in a specific sprite for each character. Because, you know, they'd have to give the Team Rocket character a bike animation, and maybe they just, for every extra character, they just gave them this exact sprite. I can kind of see, I can kind of see why they would do that. Man, I wish that the Pokemon actually went purple in the main games. Like, or, I mean, not in the main, what am I saying in the main? I'm so used to talking about Pokemon Go. I wish the Pokemon went purple in, in, uh, in, 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 in games nowadays. Because, uh, yo, look how cool that Drowsy looks. Look how purple Drowsy looks awesome, man. It's just because it's Ditto. Oh my god, why is Ditto actually so hard to catch? I just used 11 Pokeballs on a yellow HP sleeping Ditto. Why did I have to use that many just to catch a Ditto? Ditto, please. Ditto, please let me out. Please, Ditto. Let Ditto let me go. Please, let me out, Ditto. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ditto. I'm sorry I left you behind. I didn't mean to. All right, it's going to hatch soon. So we're going to see what we get from this egg. I don't think it will actually change no matter what the outcome is. So, I mean, I guess I can save here and just double check it. But I'm pretty sure no matter what's in the egg is going to be what we get. Like, every single time. Uh, but it's always worth the check. All right, the egg's hatching, boys. Let's see what we get. Please be something good. Oh, it's a... Yeah, no thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna try this again, and I believe we should still get the same thing. Egg hatching again. If it is another- I'll do it three times just, you know, just to be sure, but we should definitely get a niggly buff. Yeah. Alright, third time's the charm, guys. Let's see. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a niggly buff. I just wasn't sure if they maybe changed it in this game. Yeah, it's still a niggly buff. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I wasn't sure if they maybe changed it in their game, so that's why I wanted to double check, you know, but... Cool, got an ugly buff. Uh, I'm not gonna use it at all, so it can just... stay away. So the trainers definitely do scale depending on how many gym badges you've got, so... I guess, I think we're starting to get, you know, fight trainers that are a bit too weak for us, so I guess if I wanna... get better stuff, I guess better people to go up against, we should go get the second gym badge? Wait, where will I get Pseudo-Widow in this game then, if... He's not there. Well, did they maybe move him somewhere less inconvenient for the storyline to go? I don't know. We'll have a look around later. But as for now, we can go to Ecruteke, and I think we can just jump in the gym and take on the leader, right? All right, let's see what level you are. You should be below 20 if the gyms scale. You are level 9. Oh my god, they actually scale. That's insane. I mean, I believed it would, but, like, I didn't know that it would be this well. Okay, so... I'm curious what levels Morty's gonna be. I should be able to beat him easily because he should just have three three poison types. Alright, let's see what we got. Ghastly, and it's level 14. I feel kind of bad doing this now, man. I feel kind of bad. I've, I've actually just been using my Porygon. Um, we'll use Conversion, turn ourselves into a Psychic type. So we've got Stab, Psybeam, and then we'll just one-shot his entire team. 
Can't escape now. Oh no, I'm so scared. Man, the Gen 2 animations are classic. Get out. Get out. I wonder if we're going to be able to one-shot Gengar. I really hope we can. I mean, at least now that we've got two gym, at least once we get two gym badges, we should hopefully be a bit more on par with our opponents. Because <laughs> I do feel a little bad. Uh, but you should have... Oh, Spy. Okay. I've only got like six PP for Psybeam, so that would have actually screwed me over. Uh, let's see. Haunter next. It's another Ghastly. Wait. Oh, I guess it's... Is it not high enough level to be a to be a Haunter or Gengar? Am I not going to have to face a Gengar? Another Ghastly. Wow, just four Ghastlies. I feel bad. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, I, I guess they just didn't want to force it to have illegal moves or illegal evolution. Damn. You, you know that there's no ghost types in Gen 1 and 2 when the gym is literally just Ghastly. <laughs> I'm not good enough yet. All right, this badge is yours. Epic Nene. We got the fog badge, boys. That just means we can take on gyms that suit us better right now. And the reason why I took on Morty is because I'm like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a normal type. I can deal with ghost types fine right now. So that's the, that's the reason why I took on Morty. Um, I'm also just curious as to what Bugsy's team would be when he's like, you know, I guess higher leveled. Hello, this is the official Pokemon League office. Congratulations on completing another gym challenge. We've updated your account to reflect your new badge. You currently have two badges. We would like to issue a reminder to all trainers. If you have encountered a wiggly tree, do not water it. We have received multiple reports of trainers using score balls from Golden Rod City and Pewter City on the weird trees found in Ilex Forest and Viridian Forest. Please do not antagonize these Pokemon. So that, that explains where Sudowoodo is, first of all. Um, which is nice. Um, I think... I want to call that an episode here. I think I've done like a lot of, I've done way too much progressing. I've, I mean, I feel like I've done a lot because I'm already in Goldenrod, but I, in, re in reality, I've only got like two Pokemon on my team. I don't know, man, that, this game, I've, 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 I've spoke about, like spoke very highly, given a lot of praise because it deserves it. Um, so if you guys want to check it out, once again, a link to the Discord will be in the comments or in the description rather, sorry. Uh, I would recommend you check it out. Uh, of course, you have to be respectful over there. Don't think you can get away with being rude and stuff like that. You gotta be a good boy, okay? You gotta be good. Um, but I'm gonna call it a wrap there. Uh, if you guys want to see me continue playing this game, if you guys want to see me stream shiny hunting of this game, if you want to see more content of Pokemon Crystal Clear, then let me know down in the comments below because I really want to continue playing it and I really hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. Um, regardless, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Um, peace out.